If you've ever been frustrated by the lack of green screen templates and functions in Darkroom Booth, you've come to the right place. Today I'm going to show you how to convert your stock Darkroom Booth templates into green screen templates and even have your background images automatically change for each shot. We're going to use this corny, totally awesome template for the screen and print. Whenever you open up Darkroom Booth, it's going to start in the main tab, which is where we are now. This shows the print template. If you scroll down to screens, you're going to see, of course, the screen template that's going to be inside the booth. Uh, in this case, this one is going to pretty much match what we've got. So going back to main. All right, now we're going to edit this. So in order to edit it, we have to go to choose first. And there you'll see it's lit up in the templates. So go to the top of this page and click Edit in this top menu. And that opens up all the components. So first thing we have to do is to make these transparent. In other words, make them ready for green screen. So what we'll do is we'll edit photo 1, 2, 3, and 4. And we'll start at the top with photo 1. Now you want to just get to the bottom toolbar here. Click on Edit Item and then you can see where it has your choices here you want to choose chroma key which is the same as green screen and hit OK you can see it turns transparent you're seeing the background now so we'll go to photo 2 now which is this one you can tell because it's lit up edit item chroma key OK so we'll do the same for 3 and 4 Now we can begin adding the graphics to the backgrounds. And in order to do this, we're going to have to go down to the bottom and click on Add Artwork. Here's where I'm going to choose my background images one at a time. So I'll go to Browse. I'll choose that one. Open. OK. And I have to position and size this. Uh, the nice thing is once you set up a template, you only have to position and size it once. After that, you're just switching images. You can watch my other video on uh, swapping the background images. All right, so for this one, we're going to set this in back at number one. So I'll click my graphic, control click, photo one, go to the top menu and go to size. And then I click make the same size and position. Okay, and you can see it's just exactly the right size. But I do have to push this graphic up above the photos, just below that top line. And I'm going to do that for each one of these remaining images here. Okay, at that point, you're done with the print template. Just remember the images that you used for one, two, three, four, so that they're going to match your screen template that we're going to do next. So go to the upper left and hit Save. All right, so you can see that your print template is selected. So what you want to do is drop down to this button down here that says choose just to make sure it sticks to this event that we're working on. All right, so go ahead and scroll up to the top here under the tab hit screens and you'll see we have to go through this with the uh, screen template as well. So click edit. That brings up all the components again, very similar to the print template. But this one has a live view, so we're going to do the fancy version. So what you want to do is to get these guys all transparent with chroma key, including the live view. Then we're going to add the same images behind them. So we'll start with 
photo one. I'm going to go to edit item, chroma key, OK. We'll do the same for two, three, and four. OK, now we're going to make the live view transparent as well and make that chroma key. It's the same exact procedure. So you click photo live view, down at the bottom, edit item, chroma key, hit OK. All that's left to do on this is to add the same graphic images in the backgrounds and stack them in the live view. So we'll go ahead and add graphic for photo one and we'll go from there. You'll need to go to the bottom and click add artwork. That's where your graphics come in. Browse. Find the same series, let's say, that you used before. Hit OK. Click, control click photo one. Size, same size and position back over here and push the graphic up above the photos but below live view doesn't really matter but the, it'll matter in a second all right so we'll go back add artwork we're going to do the same thing for two three and four Don't forget to slide that graphic up above the photos. Now we're going to do the same stack of images in the live view. We're almost done with this. Notice live view is also considered a photo. So what we'll do is go down to add artwork. And I'm going to do this in reverse order so that you can see the images uh, being added. So I'm going to do my number four image first. I'm going to click graphic four, control click live view, size, same size and position, push up graphic four above live view, so I see the lettering on top. So I'll do that for three, two, and one. There we go. Now there's one last step to do for the print photo because this one has a live view. And we'll have to get into each one of these images that are in live view. These guys are fine, but these ones above live view will have to do the timings. So for graphic one, this has a little bit different settings than the two, three, four behind it. So go down to edit item with graphic one selected above live view and you're gonna see when shown so you wanna make this one edit and instead of always visible it's gonna to go to custom for number one we wanna put during startup before photo one uncheck the rest of these and we'll do uncheck these we'll leave it after last photo and we'll leave it for end instructions and hit OK now for graphic 2 3 and 4 you'll see there's only two boxes we have to leave checked so go down to edit item and when shown Again, go to custom, but this one is going to be after photo one, before photo two. So uncheck everything else. So in other words, I'm on photo two, so I'm going to leave 
after photo one, before photo two. Hit OK. OK. For graphic three, it's going to be edit item when shown custom. It's going to be after photo two. And before photo three, and then for graphic four, edit item when shown custom. It's going to be after photo three, before photo four. Everything else can go away. All right, you're all set. So go ahead and hit save. And you'll see that the images are right for your screen template, as well as your main. Everything matches up. And uh, we'll go ahead and do a session. All right, now, first off, you're going to have to forgive this quality. I'm just using a green cloth and a subject here on my desktop. But when you have your booth set up in a real environment with a camera, it's going to look perfect. So don't worry about that. All right, so I should mention that I have my live view settings to always show. The logic behind that is that you're subjects can pose before the first picture is taken and get their hair all perfect <laughs> and they can be ready to go when the camera starts so let's go ahead and do it and you can see that the image pops in the right place now my live view image changes to the right one I won't kid you, it's a lot of work getting here, but really worth it. All right, and that's it. This will match that print template that we did first, and I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to check out my other video on swapping the background images now that you've converted your template. And uh, hopefully you have no trouble converting your other templates. Remember, without a live view, it's going to be much simpler. And you'll be automatically able to put those images in the background and have it show correctly.